Hello everyone, welcome back to Vendertron's Fallout New Vegas walkthrough. This is episode 20. And we are currently in our motel room in Novak. And uh, I have to apologize, there's been some confusion between the last couple of episodes. Uh, because I took a little hiatus for six months. So the last episode that you had watched before I uh, ended playing was episode 17. And I picked up on episode 18, but uh, some changes went on between those episodes. So in episode 17, we had actually uh, were working on the quest to help Cass uh, by joining the Crimson Caravan. And what I had done was I went through, I went through um, Nipton, and I started my way up to go to the Crimson Caravan, but I ran into some problems in Sloan, and uh, there was all kinds of uh, monsters and creatures that killed me. Scorp Rad Scorpions killed Eddie, as you've seen in the last, uh, in the episode uh, 17, and also um, there are some death claws that I just can't get past on the Interstate 15. So I ended up having to change to the original storyline, uh, and we traveled up to Novak, which is where we are now. Like I said, we're in the motel room, and uh, we have to find out from Manny Vargas where the cons were headed to, and we also have to find the men who tried to kill us. And we did find some more information uh, from the lady who watches the hotel or motel and uh, she told us that they headed up to uh, New Vegas so now it's daytime we can head into the gift shop here and and buy some supplies and maybe we can talk to Manny Vargas as well welcome to the Dino Bite gift shop my name's Cliff if you're here for the T-Rex figurines you're just in time there's still a few uh, okay, what do you sell here? Well, there's T-Rex figurines, of course. That's our bread and butter. We also have an assortment of the Repcon factory Ah, souvenirs. rockets. Rockets, okay. things of that nature. Souvenirs, though, so they probably don't work. What else about supplies? Guns? Do you sell those? Guns? I, uh... Okay, darn, darn it, it. No, no one, one ever buys T-Rexes. He's really trying to sell those T-Rexes. I'd like to see what you've got for sale. Okay. Sure thing. Have a look. So he's got... Some 10 millimeter pistols, frag grenades, hyper breed up, 12,000 caps. Okay, don't have that. Pacienza, GRA, plasma defender, eh. Uh, you know what? I need to turn off that radio. Come back. Because YouTube is going to reject my video if I don't. Can I get you anything? <laughs> Um, yeah, I want to see what you have for sure sale. Sure thing. All right, look. so back to it. So, doctor's bag, I'll take that. Purified water, I'm thirsty. Uh, stim packs, I'll take those. And what else does he have? All right, well, I'm going to try and do... Most of this, oops, uh, I don't want that. I'm going to try and do most of my inventory management off the camera so you guys don't have to watch that. Uh, tell me more about the souvenirs. They're scale replicas of the real thing. Very detailed. Got a liquid in them that make, from what I hear, Repcon used to give them out on tours of... But I guess they had to stop after the first few kids thought they were filled with Nuka-Cola and drank it down. Hmm. The papers had a name for the condition and everything. They called it the Repcon Shakes. Those were bad times for Robco. How did they end up here? Well, they unloaded what they had left on the Dino Bite as a tax write-off. All right, but that but was, that was before my... Plenty, plenty of demand, demand for them, seeing as how they're one-of-a-kind collectors. Hmm, okay. Jeannie May sent me. Bless her. Seems like every traveler I get in here tells me the same thing. They see the sign and think, gift shop? That's just too good to be true. But Jeannie May always points them back in my direction. Well, a friend of Jeannie's is a friend of mine. And my friends get a... Nice. Okay, so we got a discount. Come back. I wish I would have known that before I bought stuff, because... Yeah. And that must be one of the 
T-Rexes. And I wonder if he has one of the rockets lying around here. See, he's this is all of his supplies, right? That I can't really touch, so. And then uh, he's got some ammunition. Hey, you came back. Must be doing something right. All right, so what's up here? Let's go see. This must be... Ah, Boone. This is the one of the companions that I told you about. God damn it. Don't sneak up on me like that. What do you want? Um, expecting visitors? Yeah, I guess maybe I am. But not like you. Huh. Maybe it's... Why are you here? Um... Okay. Uh, dang it. I don't have the speech. And I bet you if I took some Mentats it wouldn't help. But I'll try it anyways. Drop it. No. Okay, I just want to check out the view. I think you better leave. Really? Just making friendly conversation? Do you treat everyone here around like this? Uh, I don't see what that... Okay. Wait. You just got into town. Maybe you shouldn't go. Not just yet. Uh, okay. So now you want me for something? I need someone I can trust. You're a stranger. That's a start. So Boone trusts strangers. Okay. Um... I said it was a start. This town. Nobody looks me straight in the eye anymore. Okay, what do you want me to do? I want you to find something out for me. I don't know if there's anything to find, but I need someone to try. Okay. My wife was taken from our home by Legion slavers one night while I was on watch. They knew when to come and what route to take, and they only took Carla. Someone set it up. I don't know who. Okay, you're trying to track down your wife. My wife's dead. I want the son of a bitch who sold her. Ah, okay. What do I do if I find this person? Bring him out in front of the nest here while I'm on duty. I work nights. I'll give you my NCR beret to put on. Okay. It'll be our signal so I know you're standing with him. Alrighty. And I'll take care of the rest. I need to do this myself. Um, I'll see what I can do to help. How do you know your wife is dead? I know, alright. That's all you need to know. And I'll see what I can do to help. Good. I'll make it worth your while. And one more thing. We shouldn't speak again. Not until it's over. Okay, why did I get his No one gray? in town knows that I know what happened to my wife. Best they never know. Or well, the Legion will be after me next. Someone just... Uh, okay, goodbye. Yeah. I don't know why I got his beret. I think that was maybe a game glitch. But... Yeah. So now we have some added things. So one for my baby, this is the Boone Quest, so you can ask around Novak for information about who kidnapped his wife, and then you can also send uh, someone in front, whoops, uh, someone in front of the dinosaur and put the bray on to signal. That's why he gave the bray. Okay. So we can probably do this quest while we're still in Novak, rather than paying more attention to um, the quest they went that away, but uh, Manny Vargas is also in Novak, so what we'll do is we'll do kind of both of these quests at a time. Um, but we'll start with one for my baby. So let's go back out of the gift shop. Alright, we're back outside the gift shop, and... I'm going to drink some water here so that I don't die of dehydration. Um, I must have some water here somewhere. Pickly prayer fruit is good for that. Purified water. Perfect. Actually, you know what? I'm also going to take some rad away because my radiation level has went up a bit. So. All right, whose house is this? Cliff Briscoe. That is the owner of the gift shop. So let's go in here and check this out. Nobody's home. And there's <laughs> Dinky the T-Rex toys everywhere. That's awesome. What's he got in his fridge? Yeah, not much. Um, I don't really want to steal anything because it's just T-Rex toys. So, yeah. Alright, let's go back out, and 
Let's check out the next place. Ranger Andy's bungalow. Ah, he's in here. Hello. We haven't met yet. You must be new in town. I'm Andy. Hi. Um... What do you do here, Andy? Right now, a whole lot of sitting on my keister and counting cracks in the ceiling. On better days, I help keep the peace. Boone and Vargas watch the road. I watch the town. Tell myself I'm doing some good. Hmm, okay. Uh, you're with the NCR? Was. Was with them. That was back when my arm and leg used to work better. Okay, I so still like to discharged. pretend I'm a ranger, though. I'll check in with the guys up at the station pretty regular on the ham radio. Hmm. Sometimes they stop by, tell me they're paying their respects, the smug bastards. Okay. They haven't been responding to me last couple of days. I guess they got tired of hearing me talk, but it still got me a little worried. Hell, listen to me talk, like some damn mother hen. Uh, okay. Would you feel better if I checked on your NCR friends for you? A station full of rangers ought to be able to handle themselves. The rangers are soft. They're probably already dead. Let's talk about something else. Okay. Let's see if I can uh, get a favor in no, from him. No, They're gonna think I'm having trouble letting go. They're good soldier. Okay. Uh, well, that's the end of that. Um, did you do something to your leg? Yeah, twice. Actually, the first time, it was more like... This time, it's... What happened? A few years back, we get a tip that some Legion slavers were holed up in this burnout house a few clicks from where we were... St we get there, and it's deserted. No sign anyone's been there. I turn around, and there's this kid, just skin and bone, and he's looking up at us, and he's scared half to death. Uh, okay. I go to grab him out of there, and I notice he's holding something in his hand. Something metal. He shuts himself back in the closet, and that's when I see the grenade he's left by my feet. Great. They do it a lot, the Legion, using kids. They know we'll hesitate. Anyway, that was the first time. Second time, I fell down those stairs in front of the motel, just in case I got to thinking I'd put it all behind me. Huh, he was probably drunk or something. <laughs> oh look, I can use my speech. So your body's injured, not your mind. You're kidding yourself if you think you're useless. Hmm. Huh. People don't exactly line up to find out what's in my head. Can't remember the last time someone suggested I knew something worth knowing. You know, maybe there's something I can do for you. Perfect. Since you've gone to all the trouble of flattering a crippled old soldier, there's a move we have in the Rangers for knocking an opponent off his feet. Save my butt a bunch of times, maybe it will for you too. Okay. Let me show you how it's done. Okay. You've learned the Ranger Takedown Special Move. To use this technique, initiate a power attack while moving backwards. You'll drop your opponent to the ground. Cool. Um, I'm not sure. Okay. Oh, you're going to bed now. But I'm not done talking to you, so get up. You'll get the hang of that takedown. I had trouble. Uh, okay, what can you tell me about Boone? What's wrong with him? Had his wife taken. I don't think he'll ever... I told the Rangers up at the station to keep an eye out. Okay, what can you tell me about his Carla wife? Carla was a knockout. Whenever Boone walked around with her, he always had this funny grin on his face like he couldn't believe his luck. I know we couldn't. That wasn't the only reason she stuck out, though. That girl never minced word. If she'd had better food or hospitality, she'd let you hear it. Trouble was, she... I don't think she meant it. She really... I think she just wanted to remind herself that there's still nicer places in this world than Novak. Who could blame her... Huh, okay. Um, I don't want to hear about the rangers. Hey, uh, wait a sec. I know what I said, but if you find yourself by Ranger Station Charlie, let me know what you find. I'd be interested. Alright, so if we go to Ranger Station Charlie, we gotta report back to Novak and let Ranger Andy know what's going on. So what has he got in here? I'm just gonna snoop while he's uh, sleeping. Gun case locked. We'll come back. And what's that? Surgical tubing and a first aid box. We'll come back when he's not here. Let's go back out. All right, so we're back out into the Mojave Wasteland in Novak. And we just went into the Ranger Andy's house. He's got some stuff in there that we need to take later. Um, but let's check out some of these hotel rooms. This is Boone's room. And Boone is in Keep here. walking. Okay. Uh, 
obviously doesn't want us in there. That must mean that Manny Vargas is up in the town. So we should go up and see him. Open foot locker. This is somebody's house. Doesn't necessarily... It doesn't really say who, but some pre-war books. Cabinet with dirty water. I'll take that. And first aid box. Yep, I'll take that. Okay, next motel room. So this is Manny Vargas's hotel room. And he, the, oh, I can take all of this stuff. Noodles, grilled mantis, of course. What else does he have that I can jack? What's that? It's sleeping, sleep in the bed, but I don't really need to. Oh yeah, we'll take that. I need some more water. I wonder if I could drink from the, nope, five rads. Okay. Oh, there's a computer here. Maybe we can check out Con Hospitality. Manny, you made the right choice putting us up and... Oh, I can't read it beyond that. So we completed finding out where Manny Vargas... And... Okay, so we gotta intercept the Great Cons of Boulder City. Okay, let's finish this message here. Uh, this Weasel Benny's been twitching since we stole that package from his boss, making me nervous as hell. But when I found out we'd be passing through on our way to Boulder City, I was sure we could count on you. Let the other cons say what they want. I know where, where your loyalty is. One day you'll remember where you belong, and your brothers and sisters will welcome you back like you never left. You know where to find us. Okay, so Manny Vargas was obviously part of the great cons. Uh, and we have a map uh, added to the Pip-Boy and the message about the con hospitality. So, now that we've kind of uh, found out our quest item for one for the, uh, for that, they went that away, uh, our next step is to intercept the Great Cons at uh, Boulder City, and that will help us find the men who tried to kill us. But for the time being, now that we're in Novak, we still need to ask around about information about Boone's wife. So we talk to the ranger, and I'm going to go back to the office and talk to the lady, uh, Jeannie, Jeannie May, I think her name is. And then we also need to go talk to the doctor and the rest of the people in Novak as well. And I'm assuming that the people that we talk to throughout Novak will also um, give us some side quests that we need to do. And uh, in the next video, I also want to kind of loot, do some looting in Novak and um, see if we can finish this side quest one for my baby. So uh, that is the video episode 19. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and share it with your friends. And uh, you can also find these videos on my website at vendertron.com. Thanks again for watching.